Back in the 60s, North Cornwall was full of small village communities like Polzef, Pendoggett and Port Isaac. And while you would see a few tourists, you would definitely bump into the locals, like Joan and Yvonne here. Port Isaac was a living village, uh, uh, full of children going to school down down the bottom. It was a on thriving the cliff. village, wasn't it, Mark? Yeah, a thriving village. Yeah. We had two bakers. And two butchers. And we had two butchers, yeah. We had everything in the village at that time. Scores of children living down the bottom, fathers fishing. But we lived on fish, you see. Yeah. Because the, the, the dads was out fishing. Mm. But if they caught lobsters, mm. they'd sell that. Yeah. Uh, they'd sell the lobsters yeah. and crabs. Mm. To the to the tourists. Well, I tell you what, though, but nobody went without. No. Because everybody looked after everybody else. That's right. Nobody nobody went hungry. Didn't bomb. No. 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 In fact, the pier was constructed during the reign of old Henry VIII. Meanwhile, the residents of the village made their living either with the export of corn and slate or, of course, seafood. But while the likes of herring and mackerel traditionally paid the rent, by the 1960s, local tourism was definitely on the up, something Jeff Provis not only knows about, he was also there making money from it. I ran trips myself, um, this fishing trips in the, in the early 60s, my father's boat, um, when I was 13 and 14, taking people on the North Atlantic in a 16-foot boat with one oar and an outboard engine. But in respect of um, the fishing trips generally, the fishermen were very happy to do it, take hourly trips. They'd call their pots in the morning, and then later on, they would take visitors out on macro fishing trips to help make the money, because there wasn't that much money with the potting then, see? 